Hi all, better late than never. I'm glad somebody's uh, alert. Somebody in our little chat room has just uh, reminded me that. Um, hi Barry, happy new year. Um, about the webinar, I was engrossed in uh, some trades. <laughs> I do apologise. Um, new year, new start, etc. I'm always trying to find or learn something new um, in the market. Sometimes the same, read 100%, ignore 80%. Okay, so I'm constantly trying to find um, new new add-ins, if you like, into uh, into into the trading book. I'm not. I don't try and change anything because I know that what I have got does work. But I'm always interested in what other other traders see. Um, and I read up a fair bit on harmonics over the last um, over the Christmas break, and uh, and I found them really interesting um, as an add-in, not not just purely to trade them. Um, I'm even put with, got myself a MetaTrader uh, for platform and and added the um, the automatic sequences in there to uh, to alert what's going on. Um, a few of the guys do watch harmonics in the trading room, and um, and they seem to have a very very good uh, hit ratio, and that's one of the reasons. I had read books on them before. Uh, it's a very good book that's uh, Trade What You See. I've read that a couple of times, and I just picked that up again over the Christmas break and and, and read it. Uh, and these guys have discussed um, what they see as good signals, bad signals. Obviously, you get them on all time frames as the all chart uh, chart formation, and it flanked two uh, signals for the sell in euro dollar. Now, I was pretty convinced it was going to go up in C in a C wave uh, to take out the high to around 50% retracement. Uh, George, they're, they're they're basically symmetrical chart patterns. Um, they look like triangle formations, but they produce there's A B C D, which is a full symmetrical pattern. So uh, A B equals C D. Now I've always used that because I've used that in uh, in Elliott Way. Uh, but there's you have what they call a bat pattern, uh, butterfly pattern, uh, a crab, and they're extensions of um, of what normally I would regard as reversal patterns. But sometimes they just push and break the highs. And uh, and they change. I'm going to show you the euro dollar one in anyway in a second. Um, I'm sort of adding it in and uh, and seeing how we get on. Um, I'm going to get rid of this chart. I'm going to pull another one up actually. So I'm going to show you this. This is Prakash. Prakash should be in here at the moment. So there was two formations here. Okay. There was this formation, and they both lined up at the same place, and this is what made it a beauty. I thought this was A, okay, going back to my earlier wave sequences, I thought this was B, and I thought we were going to go up in C. And I thought, change it now, I thought this was the target area, so this was A in A, B, C, this was B, and then this was C. I've got solid resistance here because I've got all my, my, my EMAs coming in. Uh, to EMAs that I'm looking at, it's 300, 62, and 15, and these are used as support and resistance, nothing else, okay. Uh, and then we form this doji here, so that was a bit of a giveaway, but young Prakash, he caught it here. He caught the trade, bang on the button, okay. It was obvious after this engulfing four, okay, so we've got a four hour engulfing candle, and you could have ridden it down from there. But to actually pick it at the top is quite, uh, he should be actually. Um, it's quite quite an achievement. I'm going to show you the formation. Okay, uh, we use blue because we can see it better. So this, Prakash, because you're in the room, you've got to stop me if I'm wrong. Okay, this was one. This was the, and I've got my sheet because, like I said, I'm not used to trading these guys. This is the bearish Dartley pattern. Okay. So it actually retraced, I think 78.6% or 88%. Um, 
you go between the 78.6% is the prime area, so hit it once, came up and hit it again. So you had that pattern, okay? But then you had this inside one as well, which was the bearish butterfly. And they both line up at the same same area, okay? So this one, still the same right wing, okay? Left wings are different. And this one, the extension up, should be 127%. So they're both virtually bang on the button. And if you take it to the one hour chart, that was the signal there, okay? That closed 133.81. And as you can see, that's nearly 300 points ago, okay? And I think Prakash is still still live in that trade. So I mean, that's kind of an achievement. And any sort of trend follower, I mean, myself, my, tri my, my trigger would have been, which I didn't take, would have been here, okay, four hour engulfing through the 50, etc., 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 and then to the downside. So, anyway, I'm not going to start ranting and raving about, um, about harmonic patterns. I'd say pick up a book. There's other guys on this, uh, on this website that know a lot more about them than I do. If you want to come and join, uh, the trading room. It's not. It's just a Facebook room that we use. Uh, it's called the FX Turtles. Okay, just come and find us. My my actual name is to, on on Facebook is Turtle Index. And then if you if you if you friend request us on Turtle Index, just we'll just put you into the room. Okay, and these guys can talk to you about harmonic pattern. Um, they say I'm nowhere near an expert. Um, on those guys yet. So I'm just going to go through what we normally go through. I'm just going to go through um, the charts, what I think is going to happen um, over the next sort of few weeks. Okay. And if anybody wants to shout or post questions to me, that's that that'd be great. Okay. Well, we might as well start here. Still a bear. Um, I've always been well. It's about the middle of here. I've been a long-term bear. This was an ABC sequence up. Okay, this now looks like ABC to form two, to so one, two, and then three down. Um, this retracement had the, this is the bit that I said had us all spoofed a little bit. We had an engulfing green off the bottom of here, which took it up, uh, but didn't make the high. I expected to break the lows, but it's also got me thinking about whether or not this is uh, wave three in a five wave sequence down or if it's just a, a one, two, three pattern. Um, either way, we're going to be breaking the lows. So 161.8% is lining up pretty well. So an either one, two, three or um, an ABC, whatever you want to call it, this is this is going to be the target area 12200. At the moment, she doesn't look like she's going to give up anything. Um, I'd expect to slow down towards the lows. Weekly candle. As long as we don't get any big shockers from um, non-farm payroll tomorrow, weekly candle is going to be prime. We're going to get an engulfing red, I believe. And that's going to set the bias strongly to the downside. Also, look at this. We just clipped the 50. For those guys who are new to my sort of um, webinars, I look at the bias zones, okay? So the bias is to the downside if she's under 50, to the upside if she's above 50. This is a DMI, which is directional movement indicator. I just use it as a view. It's a quick. I don't trade it. Okay, MACD is for the purpose it's there for, which is just to show us divergence. So this could be looking very bearish um, for this pair going into next week. Even putting inside fibs on here. I think she comes up a bit short at 123.46. But she's, she's third wave or she's 123, so I'm still expecting a move down here. Okay. Next target to, uh, obviously on the break of the low, next target to watch for 
Uh, any questions on euro dollar um, before we go look at some other currency pairs? I've sort of come in a bit cock-handed to this webinar today. I must apologise because I've, I've been so engrossed in, in looking at this. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, even after sort of years of, uh, of trading and analysing, when somebody sort of throws something new to you. Um, kids got bikes for Christmas. I've got a, the MetaTrader 4 with the automatic... Uh, um, the automatic programs to signal these um, these formations. So I've been sort of engrossed in that for the last two days. Okay, I'm going to put the cable up then, if there's no questions. The cable was a strange one. We had this very strong support here. Two scenarios. I'm going back. I never ignore what this guy says, by the way. On here, so one, two, three, and then down to this sort of level. The practice is basically saying you could get a butterfly by on on this um, on this euro dollar. I'm assuming this is what we're looking at. Let me put my fill on before I... And tell me if I'm wrong, Prakash. Come here. And it's staying inside as well. Is that what we're talking about? So that would be a butterfly buy signal. I don't think she breaks out to the upside. I think she takes out the lows at least. Um, and I'll be careful of these fib levels. <laughs> um, but this is this is a formation that Prakash is talking about. This is a butterfly butterfly buy signal. But she will she'll target this level first. Okay, with this 128, 24 region um, before she pushes back up. So just just take care. That's all I'm saying. I've seen I've seen this guy trade them. I've not seen many I've not seen many falter. Put it that way. Um, and what Prakash always talks about as well is the, is how they fall. Okay, if they if they stay inside this this wing. And these candles are looking pretty good for staying inside this wing, so it could well bounce up from there. But bearish until that point, okay, which is 128. If she breaks that point, then like I said, um, whatever the 116 was, 161, I then looked for 127.59, which is pretty close as well. Now, this pattern is not complete. As with most chart formations, you want to be aware of them, but while the bias is still to the downside, you still want to be trading to the downside. Um, and then when she is complete, you obviously look for a reaction at that level. Uh, if she doesn't react at that level, then she can push through. Um, and as with all formations, the, the butterfly pattern, like I said, I'm not an expert on this. I'm just trying to sort of share the knowledge. Um, as with all other formations, you've got to wait for them to to to, uh, to complete. If and this is in the book that I've read, not what uh, not what Prakash said. If this pushes pushes down lower, and the and the last candles are aggressive, okay, so the large reds, then it has a tendency to push down to 161.8. And if it pushes down to 161.8. Like I said, I'm no expert, I'm just... And she still forms um, this formation, but instead of this being called a butterfly, it's now a crap because the extension is to 161.8. The retracement should be, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm correct or not, should be between 50 and 61.8% of that move. 
Um, the trouble is with me, obviously from what I've learned over the years, I'm just looking to sort of take signals. And at the moment, the signal is lower. Um, if I got to 161.8%, I'll be, I'll more than likely be, be cashing in or, um, or watching shorter time frames um, for reversal patterns, but only expecting it to be a small free fall. Now that I sort of discovered this, I'm, it's very new to me, and I'm still um, still sort of taking it all in because that to me would just be a fourth wave correction in a in a in a larger wave down. Okay. Anyway, the bias is yours at the moment to the downside, which is what we want to know. Uh, change security cable. Fun with the cable this morning. I sold some early on, got stopped, and then of course it uh, it tanked lower. Now, very solid support here. Okay, we had an engulfing green. It wasn't wasn't a full engulfing green off this base level, uh, and she's pushed up. She's now in sort of a no trade zone. Um, the bias is still to the downside. Okay, we're clipping. 50 on the daily. We're just underneath the 15 EMA on the daily. So the, so the bias is to the downside. Um, but it's very hard with this sequence here. I mean, if it, if it was an aggressive push off, which was also lining up with the euro dollar C wave, I expected a move back up to sort of this sort of level, um, and even a possible head and shoulders formation. Um, but I don't think she's going to form there. Um, the weekly chart. It's not giving a lot away either. Okay, we did have a bullish outside off that to, off that support level, which gave a bias to the upside. Okay, so the bias in uh, in cable is very mixed at the moment. We've got a weekly giving us a bull, and we've got a daily still showing a bear. Um, if we can break through this level. Then I'm expecting a, a large move lower. I mean, 150 the figure, the first sort of target, and then 145. Um, but until she breaks through there, it's very hard to predict off off shorter time frames where she's going at the moment. We want to be looking at, at decent candles. If anything, we're going to be looking for shorts at the moment. Okay. I mean, I have taken a small euro sterling long um, on your scout trade. Um, four hour engulfing. 32 minutes to go. She's not just taking out one hour. Okay, she's probably going to take out 16 hours worth of trading. So the bias has to be the, to the downside. Okay, we're inside this triangle formation, but she doesn't look like she's going to hold. Again, early signals for this pair. Very mixed pig picture in here. Okay, you've got to look to shorter time frames if you're in a symmetrical formation. Okay, trying to hit sort of tops and bottoms. There's no way I'll buy it off the base here. Uh, going to 30 minutes after the news, okay, we've got an engulfing red candle. That's, uh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Okay, that's 30 minutes. Um, again, I mean, I don't normally trade off 30 minute charts, but she's through. She's through the RSI. She's through the moving averages, the support levels. Okay, it's it's bearish. This looks like a small flag until she breaks to the downside. So you're going to have a four hour engulfing. You've got an hour engulfing. You've got a 30 minute engulfing candle. Okay. You've got a daily chart that is showing that the bias is still to the downside. I'd look to sell, but I'd just be very wary of, um, of this level um, for a potential bounce. Okay. The, the, the way that I look to get into trades, okay, that have started or um, Say Aussie dollar, 
it's all well and good doing this. The, 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 I find it very hard to do long-term predictions. Okay, I take I take my bias off my candles, my weekly candles, my monthly candles, my hourly candles, four hourly candles, etc., and then try and get into uh, into trades. Sometimes the trend can start overnight, and even though your bias is still to the downside, you might struggle to get into into a trade. The change of security. Talking about Aussie dollar, I think she's top ten now. Okay, I think this is 261.8 percent. I think this is a big extension. I think she's going to come down and see, but that's um, that's not today. Okay, obviously these are dailies. Four hourly. Look to this. There was a bullish formation here. One, two, three. 261.8 percent. Okay, but the pullback has blown out Elliott wave. Four has taken out one. Um, so the long-term bias can quite easily switch to the downside. Hourly. Okay. One, two. This was an aggressive three at 68 degrees. Three, four correction wave. And then down in five, two four twenty three point six percent. She's got she's given us no signals yet that she's finished. Okay. But I would not be selling into uh, into four twenty three point six. Normal fib extensions for normal pairs, two sixty one point eight percent for the fifth wave. Commodity pairs can sometimes not to say sometimes it's not every time, can sometimes um extend to four twenty three point six percent. Now what's happened to gold? Okay, we've had a big sell-off in gold, which isn't good for the Aussie pair. What's happened in Australia? We've obviously had the floods, which uh, which are not going to be good for the economy. So fundamentally, a good short trade, technically a good short trade, but I'm expecting a bounce up soon. But say this trade is set around here, okay? Okay, she's underneath. She's underneath both EMAs. Okay, she's underneath the 50. DMI starting to show us red at this level. Okay, MACD has broken through the uh, the zero line. So at that level, she's she's shown us a short bias. Okay, on the hourly chart. I don't know what the daily showed us actually. Thirty-first. Not a great deal. Okay, so how do you get into that trade? The trade is to is is basically to to either trade on pullbacks, and by that I mean pullbacks to the fifteen EMA, or you look for signal candles. Okay, engulfing candles. There's one here. Uh, where's my star? Okay, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. It's not rocket science. There's one there. The trend is down. We're not looking for buy signals. I don't even think we get any bullish engulfing candles anyway, all the way down. Okay, there's one there. You're not going to be up at midnight. Well, I'm not. There's one there. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six potential chances just to get short, just using the bullish, sorry, the bearish engulfing reds. Okay. I don't look to dojis, uh, but if we get a doji, pins the top, and she takes out the previous, previous, uh, previous out, then it's bearish. Okay. Um, spikes. Just mean price rejection. They don't mean reversal. And again, here this morning, it's it's an engulfing red. It's off the 15 EMA, but why is she forming congestion pattern now? Because she's nearly done. 423.6. Looking for you're looking for higher uh, for higher lows now. That's why I don't take this signal because it's too close to 423.6%. Um, 
and I said to Tom, so, I mean, it's a decent candle. If you've been up here or around here, then you can still go for a scalp, but it's just not, you want to break your time frames down again then. You know, this is your hourly. You get a 15 minute engulf in here, which could have sent you lower, but you've got these support levels. And when you get down to this sort of level, you've got to be aware of your 50 and your 61.8%. because she's going to turn soon. So, I mean, that engulfing, you basically traded straight into 61.8%, which was 99.64, which she hit, and then she's looking to turn. So, you take the signals, don't take the signals into into the end of a fib or into the end of a wave sequence. Um, you can take these... You can break them down into time frames as well. I'm not just talking about an hourly. Okay, these are obviously hourly signals on the way down. But if you look to um, five minute candles, okay, you don't you don't want the signals in the middle. You want them at the top of the swings, okay. Um, if you don't get it at the top of the swing. I sometimes even look down to three minute candles, okay? I'm then looking for engulfing candles at swing highs. If I don't get engulfing candles at swing highs, okay, then I'm breaking them down. I then look to five minutes. This should give me an engulfing off a five minute candle. Here's one here. Um, no, then I look for a 10 minute candle. And I'm looking for reversal candles. I'm not looking... Um, the bias is to the downside, so I want signals to sell, and that's it. Until the bias is then to the upside, you're just looking for signals to sell. Here, look, sell candles, sell candles. These are all engulfing reds, engulfing reds. Let's pull it back a bit. Uh, these are 15 minutes. Put on five minutes to show because you'll get you get a lot more. Um, there's an engulfing red here, okay. Golfing red off the top here after a doji. Okay, these watch it when it obviously if that hits the 15 EMA as well, which it did. Remember on that uh, on that on that midnight one. Remember I said we wouldn't be up at midnight, but it hit the 15 at midnight. Um, here, double high, low close, same candle. Here. Okay, these are all in the down sequence. Look at the moving averages. All right, thanks. <laughs> uh, December was about 700 points, which is about, um, which about about average. I've had some very bad months. Um, I took my eye off the ball a little bit at, at uh, between sort of June and September. Could we do all right? Oh, we Prakash. Um, so getting back to these charts, this to four hours, yeah. It's still an inside. This is an engulfing red, so it's still it's still an inside candle at the moment. I mean, for me, I need more. Um, tell me that the um, that the bias has changed. Prakash is also going to show us something here that I can't see. So I will wait. You better be quick. <laughs> so obviously a buy signal, not a sell signal. Okay, I'll come back to this one. Um, obviously, everybody hears the, the, you know, the saying, trade with the trend. But it's very hard to know when the trend is over. We look for, we look for MACD divergence. We look for the slow, slow momentum. That's all MACD divergence is. It's just slowing of momentum. Okay, to the downside. We look to SIB levels to the downside. But until she tells us that she's turning, i.e. she moves over the moving averages 
uh, shorter time frames to show us higher highs, higher lows. She goes above the 50 RSI. And I'm still looking uh, to the downside. And that's why I'm saying it this morning with cable, okay, a very hard trade because until she showed, showed those engulfing candles, She's inside a triangle formation. Where's the bias? There is no bias. She's up and down. She's 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 mixing the moving averages. She's not trending. Okay, daily chart showing inside candles. That's why that's why I look at sort of 12, 13, 14 currency pairs because I want to be looking at the ones that are trending. Okay, I'm a trend follower. I'm not looking to chop around in in, in one set of single currency pair. Um, and I look, I look for fig levels. So another formation. Okay, sterling yen. This, I know Prakash doesn't like this one, but this looks like a bull signal. Okay, off these, um, off these uh, harmonics, um, and she's moved higher. So then I'm breaking it down again. There's a four hour engulfing, so the barrier device has got to be to the downside there. Okay. This was one, two, three, and this is four up as far as I'm concerned on uh, on Elliott Wave formation. Just sorry if I'm flipping through too quick. So I've got this. Okay. This is a key level. So a few reasons. Forget about this formation for a minute. Okay. A few reasons to think this might be topped out. Okay. Elliott Wave would be invalidated if she goes above there, if she's just tried to take it. Okay. Fib levels. One. Two. Three. Potentially four, but she looks like she's got a bit... Sorry, that should be also be three there. But she looks like she's gone too high. Should only be a, a shallow retracement. So then it makes you. The reason why I'm looking at these harmonics is because it's something that I've not seen before. And when it, sometimes when I get these retracements and they're higher than I expect them to be, I want to know why they're higher than I expect them to be. There's only a way uh, not not worked out, okay? And then I go down into. There's so many tools that got the toolbox, but if I use them all, I'm never going to trade. I'm going to get trading paralysis because I'm going to see so many different views that I can't uh, I can't pull the trigger trigger. Okay, but here this was this this line. Okay, the cat. This is the swing low. So I know there's resistance around this level. I know there's two sixty one point eight percent, and I can count up in five ways. Okay, so. Around the top here, you've got to be looking for, for, for a sell-off, okay? If that four-hour engulfs, which is highly likely it's going to, then the least you're going to get here um, okay, is, is a free wave correction. Even if this is a bullish pattern, Wave one looks like it's complete. You should be coming down in two and then up in three. Okay. If it's wave four, then we've got to go down in wave five. You've got to look at the bias, and the bias has to be to the downside. Okay. No, because I'm, that's what I'm saying. Because I look at so many different currency pairs, um, and when people say it only trends thirty percent of the time. It might only trend 30% of the time on a daily chart, but if you break it down into shorter time frames, you can always catch a trend. Um, you know, the trend, to, trend at the moment in, um, exactly. Um, the trend at the moment is, you know, is to the downside in cable. Trend at the moment is downside in euro dollar. Trend at the moment is downside Aussie dollar, but she's probably going to change that trend in a minute. Um, you know, this is an upside trend. If you're a channel trader, then she's, you know, the trend is still to the upside. Um, if anybody watches the blog, or goes into the blog, we flagged, we flagged this yesterday. 
That's how mad my charts are becoming. <laughs> Daily. Again, this. You see, I would have never thought she would turn here. Um, but. Remember, it's 127 to 168. Okay. This formation was in. So. Is this one, two, three, four, five? Or is this one, two, three, and this is four? Whichever way it is, you know, 127.2% bullish candle, and she's, she's moved to the upside. So I was breaking it down into shorter time frames. Okay, looking for signals. Now this, which you posted in the room, um, on Facebook, sorry, the Facebook blog, the Samurai Trader yesterday, as a potential um, cup and handle formation. This being the cup, okay, this being the handle, and then to the upside. Um, I think for the time being, she's probably stopped. Again, here is another one of these formations. This isn't an automatic one. And again, there's different rules um, for uh, these formations, i.e. Prakash wouldn't take that because this is all outside of this, um, of this right wing. Okay, the target levels are 127.2. 161.8%, 127.2 would be a butterfly formation, formation. Uh, 161.8 would be a flag. Okay, this was the cup that I saw yesterday. Okay, this was the corrective handle. And then the push to the upside. Okay, there's nothing yet of the arrow that was drawn on yesterday on the break of this, this trend line. Okay, there's nothing to suggest yet that this formation is coming to a halt. Okay? I'd look for here. If she doesn't if she breaks there then I'd look for look up here towards one twenty eight fifty two. Again we've got a very bullish um one hour candle. Again she's above the fifty. Okay, she's been above above the fifty since here. Okay, came back to test, pushed off again, came back to test. She's got a bit of divergence here. I don't know if that's just caused this small correction. You've got to remember with divergence, a lot of the time with di divergence, it can just be um, it can just be a correction, not not a trend reversal. Yeah, no, I've got these. These are my own charts that I post and I use. I think I've got a few PCs in my office, and then I've just got another PC that's just got uh, metaphor on it with the with the signals. And I'd basically I'm looking at these, and when I look at these, and I think, well, yeah, I think it's going to go up from there because of X, Y, Z. I then I'm now flicking onto this MetaTrader four and seeing whether or not it's got a conflicting view. And if it has got a conflicting view, then um, I'm not necessarily standing aside. The, the, the only thing that worries me about um, Euro Swiss at the moment, okay, Home security, Sterling Swiss is at 261.8% and has had a decent push off, okay, and Dollar Swiss, so I'd buy with care basically, and Dollar Swiss. actually pushed up through. I wasn't going to say that 423.6 but it's pushed up through. Clicking away like a little tip. Come here. Um, yeah, so I'd, uh, the bias is still, I mean that, you can't argue with that trend basically. You'd be a madman to be, to be trying to sell uh, the top of this yet, 
I mean, you at least need a decent reversal candle. And by the way, this on a daily with another one of those puppies, <laughs> which are amazing me again because because I'm a trend follower, I'm, I do struggle um, to try and pick tops and bottoms. Um, the target for this would be six between 50 and 61.8 percent. So if you're not in it, you've missed it really. Okay, we're at 50 now. Probably going to push up to 61.8. I'd be very careful of my uh, resistance level, which is 97.22. But it's, I would say it's getting towards the end. It's free, DB or DB. It's uh, just come into. You've got to have a Facebook account. No expense spared. Um, and then if you find Turtle Index, and then just friend request Turtle Index, and then request just send me a post saying can you add me to the to the room and there's 48 of us in there or whatever and it's just a free chat room we're thinking about charging before the new year but um i don't think it's fair basically even developed a website to take your money but i don't think that's going to uh think we're going to do that Um, any other questions? Any other pairs that uh, that anybody's? Oh, but an, another reason why um, everybody asked that. Do you know? Do you know? I was I was selling analysis a while ago, and a, and a friend of mine who works for a, a very good signal provider, um, he turned around and said, "The trouble is, he said it's too cheap." I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "You're not getting that much." People aren't that attracted to the service, you said, because you're far too cheap. He said it was 150 pound a month. Um, he said we charge 1500 pound a month. He said and, and, and we're considered too cheap. So when people see something and they see it for free, they obviously think it's rubbish. But, uh, and the idea originally was to um, basically I've got a white label platform. Um, and the idea was to offer out the analysis free to people that traded through the white label platform, but I found that 80% of the people that are in the room aren't from the UK, and it's a spread betting platform, um, so they couldn't open up accounts if they wanted to. Um, Aussie Yen, obviously tracks the indices. This is this is a wedge formation. So it is crying out um, to sell eventually. But you know it's to say eventually come here. Okay. She's not uh, she's not a sell yet. No, she comes down, she hits the second support level. And yesterday she shows us an engulfing green candle. And that's a that's a decent bullish formation with two two pins of bottoms. If she gets down towards sort of 40, 20 area today, then I'd like to buy it, um, but not not around here, because my target level is only up around here, 85, uh, 84, 66. But it's a decent, that daily candle is a decent candle, and obviously with the industries pushing up, um, your stop loss will be low, but below the pins and outside the wedge formation. So it will be a buy, but a buy with care. Because when this wedge does break out, she's going to she's going to tank, and that's why also what makes me think that we get the correction up in Aussie dollar, okay, but only a correction. And then when that correction is complete, this is going to push through aggressively. Aussie dollar is going to push through. Dollar yen is going to push through. Yen pairs are going to disappear when the indices go. And the indices might have it. I'm going to just quickly show the down, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, okay, she's still pushing up, but this is the, this is getting towards the sell zone. I'm looking for signals to sell. And by that I mean I want to see an engulfing daily candle, engulfing weekly candle, anywhere between sort of. 
here and 12,500. When that breaks, those that Aussie yen um, should should break aggressively um, to the downside. Um, I wouldn't take a long at the moment. Um, as I said before, you've got a four hour hourly, 30 minute engulfing red candle. Um, for me, there's no signal of a, of a reversal in cable at the moment. Okay, any questions at all? I know it's been a bit off the wall today and uh, gone in different directions. I hope you've all taken something from it. Um, like I said, it's not. It's, it's about trying to pick the trend, and obviously with these symmetrical um, harmonics, sometimes you can pick the turn a bit quicker than I used to pick it because I used to wait obviously until all my trend indicators were uh, were around the other way. Um, I think combining the two could be um, could be very good indeed. And I have my right hand man, I've got Prakash who, uh, who picks them all out for me anyway. <laughs> not, <laughs> not that I'm too lazy, he's just far better at it than me. Okay guys, we're going to wrap it up then if there's no questions. And um, hope to see you again next week. Cheers and a happy new year to you all.